G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of the PC Setup Showdown where you submit your clips for your chance of winning a prize. Remember, we do different categories each week, so no matter what your PC or your setup look like, you could be eligible to win a prize. So get them in, I'll leave the link down below on how to enter. Last week's episode was a tight one, but in the end, Howard ended up winning. Congratulations, Howard. We will contact you by email, so keep an eye out over the next couple of days. In today's video, we have Lewis, Jason, and Tony submitting their setup and their PCs. So I hope you all enjoy that. I'll leave all of the parts down in the description below if you guys want to go check them out. Thanks for the support, guys. Remember to leave your vote in the comments down below for who you want to win. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Consider checking out Cooler Master's new line of MWE power supplies for your next PC build. They feature a clean, sleek design with options for both non-modular and modular, a flat cable design, and five years warranty. The quality Japanese capacitors and gold efficiency power delivery ensures the longevity of your PC hardware. For more details and where to purchase, check the links in the video description. Our first submission is from Lewis. He calls this project option and look at that cable management. For the specs, he's using the Leon Lee PC08 case, the Asus X99 Pro motherboard paired with an Intel 5820K CPU. His graphics is fairly strong, rocking two EVGA GTX 980 Ti's in SLI with a mild overclock. For the RAM, he has 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaws RAM, over one terabyte of SSD storage with the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 being his main boot drive. For the monitors, he's using dual Asus 27 inch 2K monitors with a neat graffiti style wallpaper, adding some personality to the setup. The PC is situated up high on a custom made shelf, sharing the real estate with two speakers. His keyboard is the Corsair K70 RGB and the mouse of choice is the Logitech MX Master. Overall a clean setup, the PC is clearly the star of the show and I think that this reflects with his careful placing of the lighting and sleek cable management. For the setup itself, I'd personally like to see a bigger desk and some brightness added, but I do understand that adding in a bigger desk into a corner would not work well. You've utilized the space well and thank you very much Lewis for entering. Our second submission is from Jason and he calls his project Blue Dragon. For the specs, he's using the Fantex Eclipse P400 case, the Asus Z170A ATX motherboard paired with an Intel i7-6700K CPU. For the graphics, he's using the Asus GTX 1080. Keeping a consistent color scheme, he went with the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB in white, and there is no specified storage. This PC is nothing short of creative, the front panel has what looks to be a sticker in the form of a dragon. His cable management is on point with custom white sleeving and he has even made a clean looking power supply cover. I can see that the PCI covers have been changed to white and personally I cannot really see any way of improving the PC itself. Perhaps instead of pure black fans, some black ring fans with white LEDs would look good and would match the NZXT CPU cooler. Thank you very much Jason for entering. Our third and final project is from Tony. He calls it Superboy Young Justice Build. For the specs, he's using the Corsair Spec Alpha in white and red. The motherboard is the ASRock Fatality Z270 Gaming K6, paired with the Intel i7-7700K CPU. For the graphics, he's using the MSI GTX 1080 Ti Armor. His RAM of choice is the Corsair Vengeance LED for a total of 32 gigabytes at 3200 megahertz. And lastly, he's using the Corsair Force MP500 M.2 for the boot drive and a further 2.5 terabytes of extra storage. Talking about creativity, everything in this PC is color coordinated. I normally hate mismatching fans and different colored cables, but this works so well. The Superboy figure was such a nice touch and I love how he was positioned to hold up the cables the custom sleeving and custom backplate is just the icing on the cake. For the setup, he is using an IKEA desk and he has hid all of the cables very well. The monitor is an AOC 27 inch 1440p 165Hz panel, perfect for gaming. 
This keyboard is the Corsair Strafe, paired with the Corsair M65 Pro Mouse. Overall, such a clean setup, excellent ambient lighting, and it is very hard to fault. Perhaps pick yourself up a headphone hanger, and other than that, thank you very much for entering. Hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Remember to leave a like, thumb the video up, leave your comments down below for who you want to win. I'll leave all of the specs in the description below if you guys want to go check them out. And if you would like to enter, the link to the video is down below on how to enter as well. So check that out. We're accepting any type of setup, guys. Whether you think that you could win or not, we always categorize it so that everyone has an equal chance of winning. So send them in, guys. We appreciate your support. Check out more videos on the channel just like this one. Lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials, and much more. And we'll see you guys next week for another PC setup showdown.